All eyes will be on Liverpool and Manchester City. Both of them are coming off of very contrasting results in their UCL matchups. Who do you think has the edge heading into Anfield? Well, I, I think you have to say that Liverpool for a simple fact that it is at, at Anfield. And, you know, it's a special place, as we know, with uh, Manchester City. A big, big win against uh, uh, Chelsea, of course. But unfortunately, uh, uh, that followed by a uh, loss to Paris Saint-Germain. It was a certain gauntlet, it seems, that was thrown because, uh, you know, now with uh, Liverpool, those are three massive games in one week. Uh, uh, psychologically, that's that's huge for any club. I suppose Pep Guardiola and Manchester City have got uh, the talent, and I see we'll you know we'll see the likes of Foden maybe in the starting lineup and Gabriel Jesus. They did not start in in Paris as well. So uh, Liverpool just slightly. They will also be probably unhappy with that three-three draw they had over the weekend uh, as well against Brentford. One team that did very well for themselves in the midweek was Juventus after beating the champions of the Champions League, Chelsea. Their struggles have been very well documented in the league, but with a win like that, could this be the turning point for this side? I think it could be. Uh, incredible Max Allegri, really. When I saw the lineup before the game, knowing that there's no Pablo, you know, Pablo uh, there's no Dybala, uh, there's no Morata, I didn't see Kulusevski in the starting lineup, I didn't see Moise Kahn, no strikers other than Bernardeschi and Chiesa. Well, guess what? I think he was smart to put stri strikers that are a little bit more uh, mobile, a little bit quicker, uh, you know, and Chiesa was absolutely outstanding. He's a big-time player and a big-game player because he's proven over the time that in those big matches, uh, you know, he delivers, and he certainly has done that. Uh, so, you know, it's Torino, it's the Derby. Torino are much, much better this season than they have been in the last uh, a couple seasons. So hopefully uh, the success in the Champions League, because, of course, they won uh, both of the games, uh, impressive against Malmo away as well, will maybe spill over to Serie A because they really have to make up some points. It's usually the other way around. It's usually the league campaigns that help you out in the Champions <laughs> League. Juventus trying to switch that tide this time around. Yeah, Remember, cha Champions League is the holy grail. They've won enough Serie A. So many in a row. Forget about that. They, 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 brought, you know, they brought Ronaldo to win it and he's gone now. Maybe this is the season. Who knows? Thank you so much, Janice. You have a great one. <laughs> Thanks.